Well, Rio Ferdinand, fantastic season last season, although you wouldn't have thought that by the press, would you? No, it's typical. We, um, with Man United, they're always, uh, the press seem to always try and find a way to um, make it a, a negative spin on things. But I think when, after the season finished with the Champions League and, and the disappointment of that, I think uh, for a good couple of weeks, you, everyone would have been disappointed. But I think being on holiday, um, having time with your, your family and friends, and every now and again during the day, you get a little couple of minutes to yourself to sit and think, it weren't that bad a season really. We had <laughs> three trophies. We won three trophies in the season. We won the league, which is the big one. Um, and we missed out on the other big one, which is Champions League, but we won three trophies in the season. So not many players get to do that in their career. So it was a, it was a good season really. But as I said, the way it ended really, it kind of messed it up a little bit. Tell me about it. But I was an only in Spain. What made me laugh was to watch the United game. Gutted. Then I watched the Chelsea game and you thought, they were celebrating like Chelsea had won the quadruple. Mm. It was a great season for them because they'd won the FA Cup. And yet it's yeah, after for United because we hadn't won the treble. Yeah, but it's uh, as for the expectations that we've got ourselves now. We've, the last uh, three years now we've been performing very well. We've been in the later stages of the Champions League, uh, two finals in, in two years and won the league three, three seasons on the bounce. So um, people expecting lots and lots of us and if you don't sometimes produce the big one at the, at the, at the big occasion, then uh, you've got to take the flak. So you've got, you've got to deal with that and that's the position we're in at the moment. Right, let's go back now because my youngest lad, he was at City's Academy for a year. You as a footballer, as a kid, when were you first spotted? Uh, I played for Bloomfield's Athletic, my uncle's team uh, in Kennington Park. Uh, my, uncle, my cousin played for me the same age as me and uh, I, he just said to me, do you fancy coming down and playing? I went and played for him for a couple of games and uh, we ended up playing in a, it was in the second division. We played against a team in the A division and a QPR scout come to watch the, the players from, from the A division team. And he ended up taking four or five of our lads. So um, I was one of them, and I, I started going QPR and went there for a, a good few years. I went in QPR, you were at Peckham lads, so shouldn't it have been yeah. Crystal Palace? It should have been Millwall. Oh, right. um, but like Millwall was only on my doorstep, really. But um, they never asked me till later on. But my dad used to have to come from, from uh, North London back to South London, pick me up, then to West London and take me training to Hangar Lane uh, in a VW Beetle. Um, <laughs> Which was a, it was a good journey to be honest, you know, and a couple of mates used to come in the car with us and that, but uh, all good experiences to be honest, you know, I loved my time at QPR as a kid, I used to get free tickets to go and watch QPR at Loftus Road as well, um, uh, Les was playing from then as well, so it was, it was quite good. Uh, I mean, did you think, this is what I want to do, as soon as yeah. you, got, you got signed up by QPR, or were you one of those, oh, well it's great to tell me mates at school? No, it was, uh, that was good as well, but it was uh, from about probably 11 years older. 12 years old. When I first started playing football, I thought this is me. I